Hi, on the woodpecker today, I'm at the cottage and this time around, yes, I changed again the way I pump my water. Most of the people I know take tap water for granted. They just open the tap and they have water. I used to think like that before being forced to dig my own well by hand at the cottage. Yes, this is four barrels screwed together on top of the other and this is my drinking water. I have several pumps. For a long time, I used to use those two. Then I bought this one, which is more powerful but all of them have the same problem. It's hard to prime them sometimes. That's the reason why I bought this one, a submersible pump, but it's still not perfect. First, to power it, I always need to use the switch under the sink. Ah, but its biggest flaw is that it doesn't have enough pressure. It's sometimes hard to get the water heater going with such a low pressure. So to solve all my problems, I bought a fifth pump, a big submersible 12 volt pump. And for this one, I want a nice installation. So I'm going to also install a small pressure tank. To hook that to my pump, I also had to buy all those fittings. And the main part is this T-shaped pipe. So I begin by screwing the fittings at the input of the T. The first ones are the backwater valve and the garden hose fitting. The other side is much simpler. I only need a garden hose fitting. At the end of the T, an elbow and a coupler. Ah, because the tank fitting is smaller than an inch. I also have two other holes on the side of the T. The one near the input receives a valve to empty the tank. The other one receives a pressure valve. But I think both of those are overkill. I still have two more holes to fill. In one, I put a pressure gauge and in the other, an automatic pressure pump switch. The last thing to screw is the tank itself. But even if all the pieces are assembled, I still have a lot to do before I'm done. First, I add a small length of hose, which will help to remove the pump from the hose. Next, I have to measure the length of the hose I need. So I lower the pump into the well and mark the hose's length. Then I cut the hose a bit shorter so the pump won't touch the ground. I screw another garden hose adapter and screw it to the barrel cap. Now I can lower the pump into the well and make my first test. First, I need to add some clips at the end of the wires. Power the pump and after a couple of seconds, I have water. Success. Now I just need to make the final touches. First, the electrical hookup. Uh, this is easy. Next, a hose between the pump and the backwater valve. Then, another hose between the output of the Y, which supplies the water to the cottage and also the watershed. Next, I just have to turn the switch on and I have water. Uh, I know it's hard to see, but the pressure is rising. Ah, but my pump is not powerful enough for the factory preset. So I change the cutoff pressure. And now the pump stops just before the 20 pound mark. And if I open the tap, a couple of seconds later, the switch closes and the pump start pumping. The last thing to do is to put the cover on. Ah, but maybe you notice that the well is far from being full. It's normal. This happens every year at this period of time. That's why in May, I fill my barrel with water. But to have this water inside the cottage, I need to use my second hose 
and bring it inside the watershed so I can hook another pump to it. Now I need to pass a hose between the barrel and the woodshed. So René kinks the hose while I hook it to the pump. And with this, I have two fully functional pumps. Now I have to change the source where I take my water. The water from the well enters here and goes to the cold and hot water. I close this valve and open this one. This is the hose from the barrel. And now if I open the cold water, the water comes directly from the well. And if I open the hot water, the water comes from the barrel. I know, Rene too finds this complicated. This is my water installation at the cottage. I know, not even a speck of dust. Ah, but maybe I'll have some in the next episode of The Woodpecker. Yeah.